Greetings, Sagittarius, and thank you so much for tuning into this reading. Today, we're going to be looking into the cards, what important messages you may need to know at this time. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sagittarius. If the messages here do not resonate, please do check your other signs as well. Thank you so much, and let's begin. Spirit angels, we ask for insights and guidance for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know, spirit, and need to be aware of at this time? All right, starting this reading here with the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Cups energy, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Six of Cups, Six of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. All right, so what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius, there's somebody from your past that is coming back around into your life, okay? Very strongly, I sense that energy, the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups. You and this person have so much history. You've already given this person a cycle in the past, and they're coming back for another cycle. This is someone who wants to pick up from where you left off, okay? I feel like there's something deep that you share with this person. You both have very deep feelings for one another. You feel strongly connected to each other. And also, there are some things that in the past you both haven't been able to resolve. And it feels like with the Wheel of Fortune, there's some kind of opportunity here for you both to come together and also do things differently. You may feel like the past is coming back around, but in fact, there's an opportunity to review, having sort of like a bird's eye view of the events that happened in the past, review the things that happened, and decide to do things differently. So this might in fact lead to a different outcome, but it's going to depend on the decisions and actions that you both make. In effect, how your forces brought you both together, but it's up to you how you make this opportunity and how the outcome will be the steps that you both are going to take. The Five of Cups means that there's someone who's afraid of giving this a chance for fear of being abandoned. There's a fear of abandonment here, fear of loss, fear of being hurt again. This could be your energy, Sagittarius, or the person that you were dealing with. might also be that both of you, although you want to reconnect, but there's fear okay, of being hurt. Six of Wands and the Two of Swords. But I feel like there's a stronger desire to make things happen here. The Seven of Wands and the Page of Wands and the Queen of Swords. I feel like you are in a position to make the decision, Sagittarius. Something tells me that it is this person that left in the past, so they're the ones coming back around. And I see that someone has been crying over spilled milk here. There's a strong feeling of loss and regret. So they're coming back around to see if there's something that can be saved here in this connection, if they can pursue you once again with the Six of Wands and make this work. But you could be the one who is still assessing, okay? Taking the time to make your assessment and decision. There's a need to consider everything and take a moment to really assess the decisions that you're making. Okay, you still feel very drawn to this person, like I said, but with Queen of Swords, also over the course of time, something changed here in you. Because Queen of Swords, this is about wisdom, discernment, wisdom that comes from knowing what suffering is as well as happiness. What changed in you here, Sagittarius, is that you've become more discerning. You're able to see through illusion. You can speak your truth at any time. You know, some people think that the Queen of Swords has a very cold heart, but in fact, she's just exercising objectivity and detaching her emotions to really make impartial and honest judgment on things, okay? So I feel like that's what you're doing here, balance between mind and heart, um, not just being carried away by emotions or the past feelings that you have for this person, but considering all things, okay? 
Now, some of you are saying that if it's going to be like the past, um, you're afraid of giving this a chance or that you're hesitating. All right. Okay, because what you've been through here with this person was painful. Eight of Cups. So they are the ones that walked away. You stayed in your power, Sagittarius, with the High Priestess. They're the ones who left you out in the cold in the past. But this also has been a catalyst for your change. I see that you're coming across as quite confident of what you deserve, knowing what you deserve. Queen of Wands also, to me, speaks about excellence. You're coming across a strong, vibrant energy, magnetic energy, vibrant, strong, okay, like um, irresistible. I feel like someone finds you very, very irresistible. There's something about how much you've grown stronger and how much you've changed from the in and out that makes you so irresistible to this person, Sagittarius. Now, on a different message, some of you, I feel like this is not for all, but for some of you, I feel like you're going to block communication. Or that you're going to put some walls, you know, exercise more caution. I don't feel like you're going to completely reject this person or shun them away because you're still open to reconciliation, Sagittarius. But again, you're going to be more careful and cautious when it comes to trusting this person. There was a sense of being kept in the dark in the past with the Two of Swords, you know, because sometimes our emotional attachment towards someone can often clash with our judgment. You know, even though we already know in our mind that we should say no, but our heart is saying yes, so there's some kind of inner conflict. And so with the Seven of Wands, I feel like you're still trying to figure out whether this person is worth giving another chance or is this worth risking, but you're going to take your time and you're going to be cautious with the Seven of Wands, protective of your energy as well. There might have been somebody in the past who you felt was reckless you know they can make impulsive decision um, say for example they walked away impulsively in the past left things hanging with you you felt like things were doing well but then they constantly changed their mind this may have someone been someone who striked you as indecisive quite immature but you took a risk with them with the page of wands and some of you were willing to fight but this gave you a lot of stress as well constantly thinking of of them and where this relationship is headed somebody needed to be more firm so i feel like they're coming back around and they know that they need to be more firm they cannot go back in your life still with the same energy of indecision all right but i feel like this person wants a fighting chance and time will reveal that follow what your intuition is saying sagittarius you will know in your gut and by careful assessment, whether someone is worth giving a chance, okay? They definitely miss you with the Six of Cups. They miss what you both have shared. They may have made you feel in the past they didn't really care or that they were so sure about their decision, but they're coming back around and they regret leaving you, abandoning the connection with the Five of Cups. Somebody realized what they had, okay? Let's see. We're going to clarify these messages. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, please, Spirit? All right, so we have the Six of Swords energy. So why do I feel like this person have had a habit of leaving just as when things are great? You know, this might have been um, an on and off situation with someone. When things are good, they're really good, but when they're not, you find yourself like, disappointed let down by this person um it's like you don't really know what to expect from them sagittarius they're quite unpredictable let's see why is the five of cups here the empress so the empress here means love the empress here means abundance okay I feel like you're somewhat abundant of love, Sagittarius. You have a great capacity of loving others and giving, giving off your light, your support. And this is why this person is very drawn to you. I also am getting that you've been working on yourself with the Empress and they find you very irresistible. 
There might have been somebody else in the picture as well. I see a lot of queens here. Take this how it ever resonates. Somebody was indecisive because there might have been somebody else in the picture. It's either an ex that was interfering as well in this relationship. Somebody was unable to move on from their past. And so they were not able to transition the relationship with you. Something failed to lunch between you both. Sagittarius. Why is the Queen of Swords here? We have the King of Cups. Yeah, so this is why it feels like someone is unable to commit and you felt definitely confused by them. Each and every time you try to move forward, this caused them to be emotional or overreact or, I don't know, it feels like this person keeps coming back because they need something from you or that it's about how you made them feel. Sagittarius, I keep getting that this person never felt this way with anyone else but you. There was something about how you treated them in the past that they never forgot in that. Okay, why is the Page of Wands here? We have the Death card. All right, but somebody needs a lot of growing up or somebody needs to change. Things cannot go back how they were in the past because you've clearly changed as well. You don't want to be stuck in the past is what the cards are saying. Or some of you are saying, I don't want drama in my life. If you're just going to bring drama or chaos, you want peace. Okay, the flower here may symbolize peace. New beginning. You have to let the past go and really start a clean slate. Or you could be saying if this person is already moved on from their past, then they can have a new beginning with you. All right, there might be some kind of past baggage that they haven't released themselves from. Like someone was carrying a baggage when you both got together here. Why is the Six of Cups here for Sagittarius? We have the Four of Swords. So there was a period of break or pause in your connection um, to really review things and assess how you feel for one another. I also am getting that with the Four of Swords. This is healing, recovery, emotional-wise. Something drained you in the past, Sagittarius. Why is the Six of Wands here? We have the Knight of Swords energy and the Seven of Swords, okay? They definitely kept you in the dark. They definitely kept you guessing. Somebody has a habit of um, disappearing as well. Like one moment things are great, but then they stop communicating with you. But you may have also done a lot of investigating or I don't want to say investigate, but gather information why this person was behaving this way. And you could have found out some secrets with the Seven of Swords. This card speaks about deception, dishonesty, or secrecy. Withholding information. Somebody may not have told you that they were in a relationship when they met you. All right, take this message however resonates. Why is the Seven of Wands here? So with this said, you know, you may have felt betrayed by this person or some kind of manipulation here emotional manipulation with the magician and they're coming back around and you're trying to find out what their intentions are that's why you're being cautious around them some of you feel like there's something in the background that you're not seeing just yet and so you are being firm and being protective of your energy nine of swords okay so try to really assess the situation if you might just be overthinking things or is there is there uh, some kind of truth in how you're feeling because sometimes this card speaks about feeling paranoid overthinking things too much sometimes we have to assess if it's just our fear or is it how we're really seeing things okay are we worried about things that are not real then we have the full card and the high priestess like you sense someone is still hiding something that's what I keep getting. The issue here is trust. I feel like Sagittarius. Even though you want a new beginning, it's like you're afraid of being hurt again by this person. You want to give this a chance, but in reality, you still need more time to heal. So be kind in your process. For some of you, it might be that there's new beginning or somebody new in your life coming towards you. But this past person is coming back around as well. 
That's what I'm picking up. Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. I also am getting that somebody hasn't completely told you the whole story yet as to what happened in the past. Some kind of unresolved issue. And so there's going to be a real communication that's going to happen here. Somebody needs to reveal what they need to reveal, okay? Because they're protecting or keeping some kind of information, withholding some kind of information. So this is what I'm picking up for your reading, Sagittarius. Please take only what resonates and leave out what doesn't. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.